this is the area that I find of greatest misunderstanding about macronutrients and the one in which I think we've gone most wrong in the kinds of foods that we're making available in this culture. So I would urge you to become, you know, really familiarize yourselves with concepts of glycemic index and glycemic load. Glycemic load is the more useful one to focus on because it takes account of the actual amount of carbohydrate to eat. If you only pay attention to glycemic index, you wind up telling people not to eat carrots and beets because they have a very high glycemic index. That is wrong nutritional advice because although the, the carbohydrate in these vegetables is high in glycemic index, the content of carbohydrate in the vegetable is not that great. There's a lot of fiber and water there as well. In order to eat enough carrots to disturb blood sugar, you might have to eat a pound and a half at a sitting, and most people don't do that. And carrots and beets are sources of, of highly protective phytonutrients in the form of pigments there. So glycemic load is a better, a better list to become familiar with. And remember also that what you're concerned about is the glycemic load of a meal. So it's the average of the, of the glycemic uh, load of all the carbohydrate elements in the meal. And this gives you some practical techniques for um, blunting the effect of some high glycemic load foods on blood sugar. Uh, for example, if you want to have a waffle occasionally, uh, smother it with blueberries which have a low glycemic load and then the average of that meal will be moderate rather than just eating the waffle with syrup on it. Um, and there are, there are interesting distinctions in forms of carbohydrates that are worth knowing about, that sushi rice, sticky rice, has a significantly higher glycemic load than basmati rice, which has dry separate grains. That's because of a chemical difference in the starch. Uh, waxy new potatoes have a lower glycemic load than starchy, floury potatoes. You know, these are useful things to know about. So there's a lot of nuances here, but this is very important information.